Well, it's exciting to be a part of the MCU and also to be sort of working on this series that is kind of introducing kind of a whole new storyline and showing um, the, uh, the Marvel fans, uh, introducing them to a new world. Um, I'm a fan of the MCU and the sci-fi genre, so having a chance to direct Loki was honestly a dream come true. Like, I, I love the character. I think he has one of the best arcs across the MCU for the last 10 years. I've always loved sci-fi and I've always wanted to direct big, bold genre stories. And I just, you know, it was these two things I really love coming together. So I'm just really excited to share that with everyone. What attracted me to the role of Mobius is when I spoke with the director and Kate uh, walked me through uh, the dynamic um, that would exist between Loki and Mobius and and it just sounded like something that was kind of interesting the way it was going to sort of be a little bit of a chess match and you know and are these guys is there just a business uh where Mobius is you know using uh Loki is there any feeling behind there um it's just there's uh kind of interesting uh nuances to play. So my vision for the series, I always try and have like a central question every time I go into a story and I really wanted to explore like is anyone truly good or truly bad and can we move past our like you know actions in the past will they always define us or can we move past those and I think Loki is a fantastic example of that and also that gray area between good and bad and I was really keen to kind of talk about Loki's identity and just, you know, where he will travel in our story. So Mobius, I think that that is what sort of, if anything, can help keep him on equal footing and stay, you know, a couple steps ahead of Loki. It's the fact that he has the TVA behind him and what the TVA kind of represents, this sort of power to control the, uh, the timeline. And so, the fact that I'm, you know, able to uh, know things about Loki that he doesn't even know about himself gives me, uh, you know, a certain power over him and, and helps me to negotiate with him. I would say the theme of the series is about self and identity, but within a giant sci-fi mystery story. Yeah, I think that the relationship between Loki and my character Mobius is um, very fluid. It's, there are two people that if, if there's a way for them to sort of use each other to, for their agenda, they'll do that. And I think in a way, even though you can't trust Loki, that they're in not being able to trust him and knowing that about him, Mobius does in a way trust him, if that makes any sense. The most important element for me that I wanted to bring to the series was honestly just really giving Loki a chance to shine. Cause he's only had, I think it's 79 minutes of screen time across the other MCU films. And I really wanted to make the six hours worth it and dig into things that, you know, maybe we couldn't have spoke about before, like within a two hour uh, time. So I think it, it really gave us a chance to really dig into his character. Well, I know that um, what really helped me with this character was, um, you know, the whole look that the character had, but even the sets that had been designed for this. I think visually, I think this series is, um, is certainly going to be one of the most interesting things that I've worked on and the look and the sort of what the TVA, the paranoia, uh, sort of big brother aspect. I think that's gonna be, you know, disconcerting and interesting to people. It was really important to me to have practical sets across the show because, you know, we were setting up a whole new corner of the MCU and I was really inspired by films like Eternal Sunshine and Scott Pilgrim, um, both in like very heightened, fantastical settings. But I really wanted our characters to be able to set, you know, for example, in episode one, you see Loki and Mobius exit an elevator, walk down a very long hallway and go into the time theater. And we practically built that, but for me, you know, the TVA is this very fantastical place that exists outside of space and time, but I still wanted it to feel like a, a, a real place that we could understand. And I think I love doing long takes and I really was excited by the idea of that, like having these kind of realities that we could play in. 
And it was really important to both me and Kazra and Autumn, the whole team. And Kazra is the production designer and Autumn's my DP. Again, just in keeping the style and trying to make the TVA feel grounded and real and obviously a very fantastical setting. Yeah, my experience working with Kate and what I appreciated, um, you know, about, you know, Kate's background and shows that she had worked on was that she was very open and encouraging to any ideas that we had and um, and kind of explaining if, if I did have a question about uh, sort of the, um, you know, kind of what exactly was happening sometimes. And so it's just very easy to talk to. And then working with Tom was great. And the, um, I really appreciated kind of the time before we started filming where we called it the Loki school, kind of explaining the whole MCU and all his sort of, his, his character's journey, uh, because um, a lot of that, uh, um, you know, helped inform the way I, my character related to him. So working with Tom was a dream. <laughs> he's a very generous actor and he's lovely and he's very studious like I am. And Owen, I, am, I adore, I, I think his work is fantastic both as an actor and writer. So Owen is sort of representing order within this bureaucracy. And Tom obviously is chaotic, he's playing Loki. And I think bringing together that order and chaos I think it's just such a, a, a beautiful thing to behold because the first episode really is like this chess match between these two characters and the fun of it is is like we couldn't have predicted obviously the chemistry that they would both have together and I just think it's electric you can't predict that but as soon as we were rolling cameras it was just like oh there's something very special going on in here so yes yeah, so I'm just excited for everyone to see it. What I hope uh, fans experience in watching this show is that they're you know that we're taking them into a new world and that they're seeing something they haven't seen yet in the MCU and that it's a, uh, a story that um, is that they're gonna find I think uh, compelling. I think what viewers should expect when they sit down to watch Loki is a really fun sprawling sci-fi story um, but with a character that we all love at the center on a very new journey.